Liam Neeson, the badass action hero from Taken, was once eyeing up a role that could have turned his career in a completely different direction. We're talking about none other than the legendary spy himself, James Bond. James Bond. But here's the twist. Neeson's late wife had something to say about it. In an interview with Rolling Stone, the actor spilled the beans about the unexpected ultimatum that kept him from donning the iconic tuxedo. Bond. James Bond. According to Neeson, he had expressed interest in taking on the role of the suave British spy, but his wife, Natasha Richardson, was not on board. In fact, she gave him an ultimatum that would leave many people stunned. If he took the part, she wouldn't marry him. Despite his interest in the role, Neeson ultimately decided not to pursue it, and the couple went on to marry in 1994. Although Neeson wasn't officially offered the role of James Bond, he did confirm that he was at least considered for the part. Following the release of his critically acclaimed film, Schindler's List, Bond producer Barbara Broccoli had reached out to him a couple of times to gauge his interest in taking on the iconic role. And while Neeson's career has taken a different path, it's fascinating to imagine what could have been if he had taken on the role of 007. The story of Liam Neeson's almost but not quite stint as James Bond only gets better. It was during the filming of Nell in the Carolinas Neeson's late wife Natasha Richardson gave him a piece of her mind. If you play James Bond, we're not getting married, she reportedly told him. But Neeson didn't take this ultimatum lying down. He admitted to teasing Richardson by sneaking up behind her and miming a gun with his fingers, all the while humming the famous James Bond theme song. According to Neeson, Richardson was completely serious about her ultimatum. It's not hard to see why. The Bond films are notorious for their beautiful women and exotic locations. Neeson suspects that Richardson's decision was influenced at least in part by the prospect of her husband's character getting up close and personal with a series of scantily clad Bond girls. While Neeson never did get to don the iconic tuxedo, many other actors have taken on the role of James Bond over the years. From Sean Connery to Daniel Craig, each actor has brought his own unique flavor to the character. And while Neeson may have missed out on the chance to play Bond, his impressive filmography speaks for itself. Now, are you guilty of binging on movies for hours on end? While it's a great way to escape reality, it could be a sign that you're feeling isolated and lonely. In fact, there's a widespread epidemic of loneliness sweeping our society that's leaving people feeling disconnected and depressed. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Our next video delves deep into this growing problem and offers practical solutions to help you feel more connected and fulfilled. So hit that play button and get ready to banish loneliness for good.